Hey guys, thank you all for joining. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we made this pumpkin. I don't know what to call it, but it's a pumpkin like figure or statue or what do you call this? What would you call it? A pumpkin tower. A pumpkin tower, that is what we're gonna call it. This is my son Khalil and he helped me with this project today. This is, I guess we'll call this episode Crafting with My Kid. All righty, stay tuned. Okay, so we are out back and we are about to do what? We're about to spray paint the pumpkins. Spray, yes, spray paint the pumpkins. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, it's kind of windy out here, but this is the type of spray paint that we're gonna be using. It is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. And I chose this kind because I wanted that color. It's a satin and it also says that it's for plastic. So, we're going to see how this sprays onto these pumpkins. And we're outside because you always want to spray paint in a well-ventilated area. You don't want to spray paint inside your house. Yep, just watch with the wind. Or turn with the wind. Uh-huh. And he's just getting it sprayed up to try to coat as much as possible. We'll spray one coat on each one, let them dry, and then if there's still some spray paint left, we'll do a second coat to make sure they're as solid as possible. You see, what's the matter? It just like goes away. Yeah, it, it'll be okay. Just turn it a little bit. And then after it dries, we'll clip the handles off. We're actually using the handles so that we can hang them on the deck to dry without them blowing into the grass. Okay, so we have them hanging so that they'll dry. They're just hanging up on the things that we usually hang flowers on in the summertime. And we'll wait for these to get completely dry. And we'll do one more coat and then go off to the next step. Now the pumpkins are drying. Now we just got to wait until the next step. And y'all see he talks with his hands just like I do. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, you ready? Yes. Yeah. Hello guys, the pumpkins just finished drying, so we're going to paint the eyes and the mouth. To give it? To get that pumpkin vibe. So, you, you, you get it? Don't get it? Okay, I, I get it. And what are we going to be using to paint it with? We're going to use this gold paint from Walmart, so we'll see you on the next step. Alrighty. Alrighty, and since we're at the kitchen table, I do have some butcher block paper down so that we don't make any mess on the table and we'll just try to keep our mess contained to this area. And to help us stay in the lines to the best of our abilities, I am using some painter's tape to just kind of outline everything each step at a time. Yep. So for the next step, since we've got the eyes and everything painted, and I did go over this with another coat of a matte acrylic paint because the spray paint just wasn't working so I ended up covering the pumpkins with this color matte acrylic paint <clears throat> and then the eyes of course are done with the metallic gold so the next step after they're dried this will be the very bottom pumpkin this is the lid from one of our larger bowls from Dollar Tree I don't have it all painted because it's not going to matter. What I'm going to do is hot glue the pumpkin down to it so that it stays in place. And that way the lid will snap onto the bowl which will be filled with dirt or rocks to keep it from blowing in the wind. And then the other pumpkins will be glued on top of each other so that it will have the stacked pumpkin effect. Okay, so even though I am gonna glue all the pieces together, I decided that I want to make sure that they stay as reinforced or stuck together as possible. Alignment, that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna poke a hole at the bottom of this and I'm gonna run string from each pumpkin. So there'll be a hole at the bottom of this with a knot and then I'm gonna bring the string through here. Then I'm gonna poke a hole in the bottom of the next pumpkin. And then I'll bring the string through it and so on until I get to the top. 
And that way that will just make me feel like even though I am going to glue it, just in case the glue starts breaking up, um, I won't be so worried about the pumpkin coming apart so fast. Okay, so I have the hole poked in the bottom here. The string is tied into a knot. The string is actually doubled. And I'm going to just go through and poke holes in the bottom of the other two pumpkins. And I'm just going to run them up as I glue around this, this edge to kind of stick them together. Okay. Even though it's glued, it still looks like there are some gaps in there. So I'm actually going to go around after I have them all stacked up. And I'm going to put a layer of glue against the outside all the way around where each pumpkin connects. Okay, so now we have them all connected. And I'm going to actually do some of the decoration that will cover up that gap in between them. We'll put some decorations on the lid. And I'm going to decorate the bowl that this will actually sit on top of. Now the bowl is going to have the rocks and the dirt in it. So I'm going to decorate it so that it's not visible. It can't be seen through. And then I have the smaller bowl that I bought from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use the lid to put on top because it fits just about perfect. Let me tuck that string away. But um, the lid fits pretty much perfect. And then I'll decorate the top of that. Okay. And to decorate, I'm simply using some items that I found from the Dollar Tree and from Walmart. The only thing that actually came from Walmart is the burlap fabric that I'm going to use around the bowl. But the raffia, this um, jute, and the artificial flowers, they all came from Dollar Tree. I'm still using the hot glue gun with the multi-temp glue. And I'm just going to go ahead and decorate. Okay, so this is where we're at so far with the pumpkin. I have, well, we have some decorations on it already, but the decorations were not enough in my opinion. So we've got these artificial leaves that I got off of Amazon that I'm going to use for a wreath, but I'm going to use some of these to embellish the bottom a little bit more and just kind of make it look a little bit more fall and festive. Be right back. Yep. Okay, guys, we are done. And as you see, we added some leaves to it just to give it more of a fall vibe to it or a fall festive look to it. And um, initially, we were going to just use the decorations that we got from Walmart Art. and from Dollar Tree. But I ended up ordering these leaves for a wreath that I'm going to be making. And I just I swapped, swiped some of them from that project to cover up the bottom of the, uh, the, the bowl that the pumpkin is actually attached to. So that is it. I don't know if I want to put this outside yet or if I want to just have it inside the door. I'm still debating on that because I'm, I really don't want it to get rained on and then see all of my work ruined. But I don't think that all of the decorations are waterproof. But I'm still debating. What's that? Wait, so why don't we just put it near the door? Yeah, we're going to, I think we'll just put it at the door as you come in. Yeah. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Alrighty. Thank you all.